everybody and welcome to F123. It's finally here. I've been waiting a long time for this. Had some dramas on F122 and we lost what was basically an entire series of, uh, of career mode. But we're back. Brand new game, brand new season, brand new series. And uh, it's going to be fun. I hope. Here's your race lineup for season one of this series, and we're going to start things off a little differently. Everybody's doing Bahrain at the moment, so we're going to start in Miami. It's going to be 16 races. We're going to head uh, over to Imola. Spain is in there. We've got four sprint rounds. Qatar back on the calendar. And Las Vegas, brand new 2023. Here's your driver lineups then. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, of course, in the Red Bull. Ferrari, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Over at Mercedes, you've got Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. Off to Alpine, and you've got Esteban Ocon, Pierre Gasly, all French lineup now. And in McLaren, Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, a brand new face on the grid. Fernando Alonso at Aston Martin with Lance Stroll. Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hülkenberg returns at Haas. Alfa Romeo, you've got Valtteri Bottas, Joe Guan Yu, same lineup as last year. Yuki Sonoda joined by Nick De Vries at Alfa Tauri. And Josh Harris, that's us, and Alex Albon racing for Williams. Let's go qualifying, shall we? For the first time ever on this game. And we're going to be looking to progress. Brand new into the sport. We're going to start at a back marker, Williams see what we can do maybe we grow this team maybe we move elsewhere let's see how it goes a good start and first ever qualifying session and we got a cooling system fault not ideal all right get ready to jump out if you get too hot in there there's a problem with the cooling system and it's going to take us a few minutes to correct it Fast forward those few minutes. The problem is solved and we are headed out onto the track for the first time. This is going to be interesting. The Williams obviously lacks a bit of downforce. Very good in a straight line. Couple with that with the fact that we need to get used to the new handling model on this game. This is going to be uh, a challenging first season, shall we say. As we... Uh, I had a strange issue... Uh, coming into this session where the wheel rotation did not match my settings i had it on i think 300 and i was having to turn a lot just to get a little bit of rotation but anyway we solved that uh, later on but we're headed into our first flying lap max verstappen sets a 129.7 as the benchmark we're not actually doing q1 q2 q3 hamilton very close to us there on the way out of the pit lane we're just doing short qualifying and 35 percent races to get things going uh, and then as we head into season two we'll review that maybe maybe do the full qualifying sessions like we used to maybe up it to 50 percent races but just to get a bit of momentum going we're going to keep things a little short little snappy to start with and uh hopefully that'll mean uh more consistent uploads perhaps we'll see perez is i can't tell whether he's on an in lap, out lap, he's not flashing, so I don't imagine he is, but he's just messing around on the apex. He's going so slow. Ah, that would explain it. He's lost his wing, but he's decided that that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to race you anyway. So I sort of cut him off just to signal that, hey, I'm on a lap here, leave me alone. And in doing that, completely missed my breaking point. And uh, straight on at the final corner. So that's our first lap in the bin, basically. Hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. But uh, there's our teammate getting a little bit confused about what we were up to. Um, obviously not on a lap because I was off the track. So just uh, AI things, I guess. Anyway, brand new set of tyres on. We've got three sets, I think, for this session. And uh, we're going to try again, see what we can do. Hopefully we can... Uh, I would Looking at where the car is... In terms of uh, R and D, we're we're sort of we're not last. We're in that mid pack, so I would imagine we're probably looking at P twelve at best. Very tight in the midfield, so we'll see. That's looking decent though, not too bad. 
as we come up to the final corner. Don't miss our breaking point this time. I actually managed to hit the apex. That's not something you'll see me do very much in this race uh, at all while I was trying to figure out how to actually drive this thing. But we go P9 for now and a clatter the wall for good measure, just because why not? Um, currently sat in P11, going for a, another lap at the end of qualifying. We are the very last person to be set in a lap. Qualifying complete. Currently in P12, we have improved two tenths, nearly three tenths as we come into the, the Mickey Mouse section. But is it going to be enough to get us into, well, the top 10 maybe? Albon's in P11 and we've been matching his pace. So if we can find a little something, but as we come into the final corner, there you go. The, uh, the apex is just a suggestion. And we come up towards the line, only really gaining a tenth in the end. And uh, I think it's only going to be P13. Do you know what? I'll... I'll take it. For a rookie, first time in Formula One, get into grips with this handling model. Only eight hundreds off Albon. That's a good sign. It's a very good sign. I'll take that. Carlos signs then. Pole position for Ferrari with Lewis Hamilton just behind and Charles Leclerc in third. The Red Bulls slightly off the pace. I mean, two tenths for Perez and three tenths for Verstappen. Very odd. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I'm sure it's one that will please the fans. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Fernando Alonso, Ocon, Gasly, Stroll, Albon, Harris, Bottas, Sonoda, Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Oscar Piastri, Joe, and Nick De Vries. And now it's time to head down to the track. A new season, then a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Alrighty. Let's, uh, let's go racing, shall we? I in all of my wisdom forgot to turn on the formation lap so we don't have that to talk over while we get ready so we're just gonna have a quick look at the strategy it's probably gonna be hard medium by the looks of things and we're gonna go straight to the five red lights for the first ever time on f123 we're underway for driver career mode as josh harris and a shaky start but a quick one you'll notice that the difference from f122 into 23 is quite remarkable in the start so if you haven't played this yet i recommend that you do but uh, uh, at the front hamilton is coming under pressure from charles leclerc in the first lap that's going to be one to watch leclerc on the soft tires so they're obviously going aggressive thinking they can make up positions early on but back to our pov and uh, we are fighting with our teammate almost already a bit bit wide there so that's going to put a very abrupt end to uh, to what I thought was going to be a teammate battle the Sonoda sneaks through on the inside while I just wallow off uh, on the outside of the corner Gasly behind us up front again Charles Leclerc going for that move on Hamilton like I thought he would down the inside and then has to hang it around the outside which is probably not really going to work out for him and as they come into the uh, the chicane they're back into single file. A bit of a train going on there. The two Red Bulls not really uh, being too aggressive off the start. So not too much to report at this point. Uh, we've dropped back from P13 to P14 after that incident uh, at the corner earlier. And uh, we're going to give it the big one down the straight. 
with our straight line speed and see if we can get past Sonoda and uh, see if we can size ourselves up for a go at Alba maybe on, on the next corner. And coming into the hairpin we go and really deep on the brakes and we're going to make contact with Stroll. And I cannot believe I've still got my front wing. I cannot believe it. As uh, Albon and Sonoda come back past us, Gasly's probably going to be having a look at us as well in the Alpine. Yes, he is. As he goes up the inside, we're going to switch all the way across the track and almost make contact with Albon there. And uh, as we come out the corner, huge oversteer. And uh, we just have to yield those places again, unfortunately. But we kept Gasly at bay, at least. That's, uh, that's one thing. Uh, these hard tyres are... They, they like to snap. Um, but that's okay. The, uh, the traction is way better than last year's game, so I'll take it. On to lap three, then. And we're sizing up Alvin a little bit, thinking, can we make the move here? But uh, maybe reflecting on our experience from the, from the last lap, I'm thinking maybe, maybe that's not a wise idea from that far back at least we don't want to we don't want to do that but yeah coming back to the damage thing uh, there were a few incidents in this race uh, where I made contact uh, and even in episode 2 which we'll get to uh, where I've, I've there's been like contacts just nothing crazy but like contact with people where you would expect on sim damage which is what we're running uh, to be getting damage I've checked it a few times it definitely says sim uh, but it's I'm not getting floor damage. I'm not getting anything. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I guess a bug, but we'll see. It's early days. Team. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. It's just slightly annoying. Uh, but yeah, is what it is. Anyway, on to lap five. I'm rambling. There's a race going on here. I should be talking about the race. Uh, lap five, and we are almost going to go around the outside of Albon. Coming alongside him just before the DRS, and he squeezes us right over to the wall, so much so that we have to back right out of that. And that could invite Gasly, he's right there on the back of us, to have a go. But look at this straight line speed, it's quite something. I wasn't even on the overtake button there because I just don't have a lot of battery. And we go down the inside, and we're past Alvin up into P13, back where we started this race. So we'll see how this plays out now that we're past our teammates and Sonoda's just up ahead we might be able to maybe maybe get a P11 we'll see as we uh, see Lewis Hamilton and Charles Leclerc battling again Carlos Sainz still in the lead quite happily in the lead they're dropping the Red Bulls as well so the uh, the Red Bulls obviously don't have uh, the advantage they have in real life in this game yet and uh, the Ferraris are gone uh, with Hamilton Hamilton up into P2 Again, uh, after the earlier move. Maybe could even challenge for the win. Albon down the outside on me. And he's going to get that move done as I take a really tight line into that corner to avoid any contact with him. And we're back down into P14. It's a bit up and down this race. Uh, unfortunately, no crazy battles to, to really look at being the first, first race in the series. And, of course, the car isn't quite there. So... We'll work on some upgrades. We'll try and fight at the top of the midfield, try and regularly score points. But for now, we're just trying to figure out what's what and, and we'll take it from there. But we're going to go down the outside of Alex Albon. Can we make it stick, though? He's gone super deep and we have to open the steering wheel to avoid contact. On the exit, though, plenty of traction. It's beautiful. So much traction. And off we go. We do, we do get the place back. But Alex is not done yet in my panic. Just looking here, there and everywhere. And he's going to... Is he going to get through? No, he's not. He backs out of it. That was probably wise. We go super wide there. And uh, yeah, we kept the place. Anyway, on to lap seven. It's time for our first pit stop. I finally have a button to be able to do the pit stops, which is nice. onto medium tyres I think it will be although looking at everybody else's strategy okay let's go now come on prob prob perfect job on the turn in there mate looks like a nice stop time we're happy with that one that was our last stop no more scheduled pit stops let's go the softs aren't completely useless in this game from what I can tell so we, we could have done I mean Sonoda's on softs however um seven laps is quite quite a long it's a long track so seven laps is quite a lot to take the soft um, and here's Charles Leclerc fighting with Lewis Hamilton or was fighting with Lewis Hamilton and it's an engine failure in classic Charles Leclerc style 
he's out of the first race of the season ultimate realism there as we uh, come okay, back to us I'm not too worried about the car behind to be honest um, Green flag. my focus is ahead we're trying to close that gap to Sonoda which is currently one and a half seconds because I think his soft tyres will go off towards the end it's, it's a very short race I'm sh sure that I selected 35% but I'm pretty sure this is just a 25% a race to be honest but um, yeah just had some strange experiences at the start of this game but it is what it is you, you probably noticed as well on the replay camera that there's no timing tower um, I've just been doing it without because when I did the replays for this there was no deltas on the on the tower so not ideal um, I have since been able to get it back I don't know what I did but it, it has come back so hopefully it stays but we got we're gonna be making a move on Sonoda I think look at this the overspeed we've got is insane as we go down the inside we like making moves here but wow that's deep and we haven't even made the corner Sonoda's gonna go back around the outside thank you very much and uh, P12 oh, we've got a warning for that spicy uh, we're gonna push him round here and hopefully line ourselves up for a nice run down the straight look at this literally literally pushing him along before even the DRS zone and we're gone I think his tires might be dead you know okay good work great pass. so p11 is probably about all we can hope for in this race given that we've got one more lap to go so unless anybody DNFs in the last lap ahead of us we won't be scoring points today but that's okay uh, to be on the fringe of scoring points, especially in a Williams, is uh, is pretty good. So I will take that. And we are going to cross the line for P11. And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in part Fermi. Good stuff. That was fun. I, the, the handling model is so much better in this game. Talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team, and they certainly deserve it. Well, a fun start to uh, his career mode, I would say. Uh, managed to fight our way only two places in the end, 13th to 11th, but there was a bit more to it than that. Uh, and it was it was a fun, a fun race. And somehow, Lewis Hamilton won. We completely missed that. Um, beat out Carlos Sainz. Obviously, Charles Leclerc had that DNF. And Perez ends up on the podium as well. So uh, a good day for the top three. Uh, and a good day for Williams, I would say. To get P11 on the opening round of the season is pretty, pretty okay. So we'll see what we can do as we head to uh, to Imola next time. But uh, let's take a look at the standings. Uh, well, the, the results of the race. Lewis Hamilton then with a win and a fastest lap for Mercedes. And Carlos Sainz, Sergio Perez round out the podium. Russell in P4, Fernando Alonso in P5. We're down in P11. Albon ended up in P14. He must have had some traffic or something after his pit stop because, yeah, he was, he was fighting with us most of the time. So... Lewis Hamilton naturally takes the lead in the championship and in the constructors it's Mercedes at the top followed by Red Bull interesting anyway there's plenty more of this to come so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more F123 driver career mode drop me a comment leave a like and I'll see you for the next one bye